Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad, and uh, in today's Daily Dose of Tarot we are going to check into the 25th uh, of uh, June 2022, and uh, should you be interested in a personal reading with me guys, or if you do want to check out for my Tarot classes, uh, by viewing the description down below you will see there a link to my website uh, where you can view and purchase whichever service suits you best. So with that said, uh, let's check out what do we have for uh, today and the very first card that is going to be the Eight of uh, Swords followed by uh, the second card here that we have. This is going to be the uh, Ten of Pentacles and the final card for the day that will stand as uh, the ten of wands okay. and uh, that is how the elemental dignity of the day stands this reading has a wide specter so i hope you bear with me here now on a, a super mundane level uh, this is going to be a chores day, guys. It's just throughout that particular day, we will just have to attend to things that we pretty much signed up for. And they are a inseparable part of our life. Uh, for most of us, it's going to feel like, you know, we have delayed and postponed the chore for as much as we could. But today, Sunday, it's going to be the day where we will have to kind of like undertake it at, uh, at last. And why are we not maybe it may not be very pleasant to spend some time you know doing chores it's very important to be acknowledged that this chore is paving away what i mean is that that, that the chore itself is quite substantial so at the very least we make our life easier moving forward not just only that but as well is going to allow us to exceed our potential in one or another way, whether in our family or whether in our uh, intimate life, whether in our career as well. It's just a chore that's once done, uh, we will, uh, how can I put it into words? Well, we will have a lot more to play around with. <clears throat> On another level, this reading pretty much speaks that is going to be a day where we will have to present. It's not even saying, but it is more like a presenting the ugly truth and also accepting the ugly truth whatever the cards are uh, speaking about whether an ugly truth about love situation or an ugly truth about um, a career situation or maybe as well friendship it is just a and when i say ugly truth i mean truth that people prefer to pretend that it is not there okay everybody knows it but it's kind of like it's more convenient not to be acknowledged well that time is pretty much over and now that particular truth needs to be acknowledged because if the truth does make us free then what the denial of that truth makes us and either way once accepted again rewards are going to follow after uh, those rewards are going to be different for every single one of us but once is certain it is that this acceptance <clears throat> and presentation of the truth itself uh, will allow us to to keep on going forward to, or, or to move on if you will on another level uh, those cards here are speaking that we will have to as well go outside or do something that stands outside of our zone of comfort and if that's the case then uh, that is going to be the, the reason for it is going to be so we become aware of how much we can do because uh, according to these cards up until this this moment in one or another situation we are underselling ourselves and that is pretty much the elemental dignity hold on a second here that is pretty much the elemental dignity showing that the eight of swords with the ten of pentacles is that we are underselling ourselves and under underselling ourselves i mean that we are artificially dependent on either something or a someone no different than having someone to do the job with you while you can do it yourself right entirely yourself and get all the spoils rather than um splitting the spoils from the job to both of you uh, it could go that uh, that narrative but definitely 
it speaks about a detachment and relinqu relinquishing relinquishing of a unnecessary uh, dependence that we do have could be a dependence of substance substances as well like for example alcohol cigarettes it's going to be a great day to uh to consider at the very least start quitting uh, smoking or some kind of unhealthy habits although there is a, a better card in tarot showing that this elemental dignity is also a very powerful and it's worth uh, it's worth considering uh, also it's going to be a a day where we will going to start strongly considering moving on in a sense of a uh, situations where it's just we hope that things are going to move forward there but they never do and so enough it's enough and probably that is something we're going to say to ourselves and just move on to the next better or to the next plausible opportunity as we are seeing that there is no moving forward in the current one but we are hoping that there is going to be a, a move uh, a move forward another thing about day as well is that <clears throat> It's very important to acknowledge uh, what we are signing ourselves for, because uh, as these cards pretty much stands, whatever promise we say, okay, or we give, whatever we sign up for, whatever contract we we decide to put our signature on, we are going to be held fully accountable and there will be no compromise about it. You promise that you are going to be there. You are going to be accepted, uh, expected to be there. No delays. Uh, and also you're going to be expected to be there the way you promised to be. All right. So no compromises one more time, I'd like to say. But also, uh, should we keep up to our promises or keep up to whatever we have signed up for again a great rewards are coming afterwards but the biggest spiritual message from that these particular cards for the day itself is that we are far more capable than we are showing and that we are even thinking to some uh, to some extent and that others that are around us are um, are thinking of us so in sunday we may find ourselves surprising people that thought we are not good enough well i guess that they're up to be proven wrong into uh, into that statement and into that perception uh, perception of theirs and uh, as far as love goes i can't say that that's a good day for love okay by the look of uh, by the look of these cards and that is because whatever we say in term of love or whatever action we do in term of love we are pre we are pretty much going to be bound by it and uh afterwards it it's going to serve like more like a shackle that binding than anything else and uh, going forward in love situation being shackled to something you said or you did while under effect of emotions it's never a good way to move forward when it comes to love love needs to give us freedom rather than shackle us to to enough to a feeling or to a word or to to, to whatever could come out of uh, of these affectionate uh, affectionate moment and so with that said guys this was uh, our um, daily guidance hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and uh, we may see each other another time until then bye